Africa region is no stranger to challenges. In the 1990s, when ACI was formed, the region faced the twin challenges of lack of resources and the storage of skills. Most recently, the industry has dealt with the Arab Spring, the Ebola virus, and the specter of terrorism attacks. Despite these obstacles, air transport in Africa is on an upward trajectory, both in terms of passenger number and the important contribution we make to the continent economy. Statistics from the Air Transport Action Group, of which ACI is funding member, point to air transport in Africa directly generating an estimated 428,000 jobs. Another 45,000 people, or 11% of the total work for air airport operators. 222,000 of these jobs, or 52%, were on site in airport at retail outlets, restaurants, hotels, and so on. Uh, airports supposed to be uh, a destination at itself. Airports must be fully integrated in the community. I think that airports must be uh, secure, safe, and more sustainable uh, in the future. More than anything, ACI Africa roles is to facilitate the significant contribution that airports play in communities, large and small, throughout the region. We do this through acting as unified voice of African airports at regional and worldwide events, organizing our own conferences and exhibitions to ensure that members have forums wherein the issues that are important to them can be discussed. Promoting education and knowledge sharing in cooperation with ACI World Global Training and Developing Nation Airports Assistance Program and fostering operational safety through the Airport Excellence or APEX in Safety Program, which has performed more safety peer reviews in Africa since its inception than in any other region. If I were to sum up the future of tra air transport in Africa in a world, it will be potential. For the last 25 years, AC Africa has been a driving force behind the growth in the region, and we look forward to being an engine for the future positive change over the next quarter century.